verse 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way. You see? Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads unto life and few the be that find it. You pray five times a day, you say, Ehdina Sirat al Mustaqim. Oh Allah, guide me to a straight path. And here, long before Muhammad came, Jesus Christ said, I am that narrow path. I am your Sirat al Mustaqim, with my due respect. He was the prophet and messenger for his people when he said, No, he was not. To his audience, No, he yes, was. Yes, okay, I am for that to the audience. But that doesn't, that, that's a sort of confirmation. He's not saying, I am the God. I, so, he's not saying, okay. Let me answer your question by, by, by the Bible, not by my own knowledge and understanding. Look what you see. Be patient, please, yeah? Look what he says in Acre chapter 1. Hello, brother, in Acre chapter 1. Yes, brother. Was it in John chapter, was it in John chapter, before it goes here. Was in John chapter 4, brother. In John chapter 4, wasn't Jesus preaching to a Samaritan woman? She said a Samaritan woman, um, she asked her to give her water. And she, I'm asking a question. Yeah. Wasn't Jesus preaching to a Samaritan woman on the well of Jacob? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. So that prophecy was fulfilled, half of it, by Jesus Christ himself. Look what he said. He says, in, in, in Acts chapter 1, this act after yeah. Jesus was crucified. We said, and Jesus talking. And he said unto them, verse 7, And it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. He said to the disciples, It's not for you to know the, power, the hour and the time which the God has put in his own power. And then he said, But you shall receive, listen, but let me yes, please, please, God bless you. But you listen, please listen carefully. Listen carefully. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Okay. Uh, that means this gospel, me, is not only for the Jew, but for the entire world. Okay, That's why in John 3, 16, for God so loves the world. Okay, okay. That's, it's ambiguous. It's not directly, it, it, you know, it's not directly like stating that he, Jesus, has like omnipotent divine power. It's as a messenger, he's going to spread his message and it's going to reach the whole world. Secondly, we believe in the end of time Jesus returns. He, when, when, in that moment in time in the future when he returns, so if he's the leader of the whole world, then he, then his power reigns across the whole world. That does, then perhaps that statement is fulfilled. But that doesn't mean okay. that doesn't that doesn't like um, fulfill his divinity. What's your name? Naive. 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 Your your English is much better than me. Please don't be offended. Your yeah. No, 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 no. In grammar. It's okay. That's it. I'm giving you two sentences, and I want you to tell me what's the difference between the two tenses. Please be careful, yeah? Listen carefully. Okay. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. I'm hearing that a lot today. No, no, I know. I know. I'm not, I'm, 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 no man comes to the Father but by me. Listen carefully. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Okay, and I, now I'm giving you the next sentence. I am one of the way, I am one of the truth, I am one of the life. What is the difference between this? I understand where you're coming. Hi baby, it's very simple. You see, we have enough knowledge to understand. I'm telling you first, definite article. I am the way, I am the truth, I'm the life. Hold on. But I came to you in the same time, I say I am one of the way, I am one of the truth, I am one of the life. So my question is, what is the difference between these two sentences? A prophet is the shepherd for his people. The prophet guides the people. But that doesn't mean... The you see how you escaped the question? No, 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 no. No, no you are. But, but he's not saying, I am the one who provides the life. I am the one who... Because like, if he was... Because that would... That, he's, he's not claiming the... He's still not claiming that... You see, you don't, you, don't understand, you don't understand what I'm saying. Jesus claimed that he is the only way to heaven. You see? That is what you don't want to hear. With my due respect. He claimed that he is the only way. It's not the Papa, it's not the Billy Graham, it's not Joel Austin, it's not Krishna, it's not Buddha, it's not Moses. Hold on. It's not, please, 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 please. The word only is missing. No, no, it's not. He said, no, he said, I am Zoe. 
and the way it's the truth and the life. And I'm giving you another sentence. I'm saying to you, in another sources, sources I say I'm one of the way, I'm one of the truth, I'm one of the life. That means someone else will come after me. I am one of the way, someone else will come after me. But when I say I am the way, the truth, and the life, that means that's it. It's the seal. It's no more revelation, no more prophecy. Yes. He said, I he defy every religion before him and after him. That he is the only way to heaven. Habibi, I don't want to I don't want to uh, hurt your feelings. Now now I answer your question. You don't you don't listen. You don't Okay. Let's say I am away. Okay. No, no. I am away. Okay. We believe that no, no. the Bible itself, the Torah naive, itself, naive, prophesizes naive, naive. The, pro the prophet Brother, Muhammad brother, Muhammad. we have we have intellect. Okay. You said I am away. I'm say I am away. Okay, I, so, I so you know what I'm saying. You see the point. The point is, brother, is sealed by Jesus Christ saying he is the only way to heaven. No, even the church. He didn't say the church. He said I am the person. Because the person can only the, the truth and life can be found only in a person. Are there any prof are there any verses in the Bible that say that after Jesus there will be another messenger that will come? No. There will be another person. No. No. But that according no. to the Quran, according to the Quran, that the Prophet was prophesied in the pre in the previous books. So, may, so, if, so according to that, statement, you're talking about the Gospel of Banna, Yeah. No, but I, I'm not sure. But like, if no, the Prophet, please, please, if please. the Prophet Muhammad, please, please. Muhammad was prophesied in the Torah and the Bible, brother, that would nullify brother, your brother. How old are you? If you don't mind. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. You are much younger than me. The Gospel of Barnabas, no, oh, hold Barnabas. On. Yeah, no only Christian, the majority of Muslims have rejected the Gospel of Barnabas. You know why? For example, one example, for one example, how many heavens are there according to Islam? Layers please, please, how many heavens are there according to Islam? We say, we say the seven layers. Thank you very much, seven. seven layers. The Gospel of Barnabas talk about nine heavens. Nine heaven. Who's like the Quran or the Gospel of Barnabas? There's, there's, there's a difference between there's, there's different heavens and Na there's different rights. Brother, brother, Naeem, please. I'm asking a question, but you never asked my question. Okay? You just escape in the question because you don't know how to answer. The Gospel of Barnaba, who was written by a man converted to Islam in Spain, talk about the heaven, nine heaven. The Quran clearly says there's seven. So who's that? The Quran or Barnabas? That's why the majority of scholars of Islam have rejected, have rejected. You see, the majority, brother, the majority, the majority of Islamic scholars have rejected the gospel of Banna, but not only that, there's any other misrepresenting uh, of, the, of, of, the, of the time and location when the gospel of Banna was written. For example, that's one of them, which says nine heaven, but the Quran covering seven heaven. It's talk about things that there was no exist in a time of Jesus, in a time of even, okay. you know. So, you see, so we have to understand, for example, you call this Bible is changed, it's corrupted, yeah? I believe it's the word of God. Okay, okay. can I just make one point regarding yeah. heaven? Heaven, is in this, there's in several descriptions we've given, we've been given of Jannah, of the paradise. Mm -hmm. And one thing we know is that it's extremely vast, beyond comprehension. For example, there are just not only perhaps we could say we could we could say seven heavens, but within those seven heavens, there's different ranks for different for different awards of people. For example, it said I think for like for a certain category of people for the martyrs, there's a hundred ranks just for the martyrs, and each rank the distance between each rank in heaven is the distance between the earth and the skies. So, so if so. The inter so if you see in a way where, okay, it doesn't necessarily mean there's seven different heavens, it, or maybe there are seven different heavens, each rank is so big, it's so vast and so far away in size, it's like a different realm. In that case, like, uh, uh, it's hard to define a number, okay? Is the Quran okay. wrong when you say seven? No, 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 but what I'm trying to say is... No, please, you know, you know what you're talking about, okay. you know what you're saying? No. The Quran says there are seven. No. Okay, and the, the best one, what's the best one? They call it al kawsar That's what Muhammad was praying for. That's why you say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That in order Muhammad to get to the best paradise, the seventh one. Okay, do you know that? Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. So there's seven. seven. But the Barnabas says there's nine. Okay? 
know, so please, please, I please. Okay. You don't know that I know that because I have read the Gospel of Barnabas. Yes, yes. Okay. So let let me ask you one question before we go, before we just finish. Sure, sure, sure. Do you pray? I pray fast. Do you yeah. do you fast? Uh, yeah, I fast. Yeah. Do you do you pay uh, uh, zakat? Yeah. Okay. God forbid. You pray, you fast, you give money to the poor, first to, to the Ummah, to Islam, to Muslim, and then probably to your neighbors and friends. But God forbid, let's say, I pray that you will have 100 years to live, 150 years to live. With many children, with, many, with one wife, no many wife, one wife. That if you die right now, without a shadow of doubt, if you die right now, without a shadow of doubt, do you know whether you'll be in heaven or in hell? That's what that knowledge is about Allah. I don't know. So, why do you say that knowledge is belong to Allah? Well, Jesus Christ, even so, He said, I don't know the hour, but He promised us heaven. Uh, uh, okay. People, okay, whoever goes into heaven, whoever goes into heaven, that's first, that's based, but firstly, by Allah's forgiveness, Allah's mercy. Okay, what we can do is make sure we follow the Quran and we follow the commandments so that we have, so that we uh, so that we um, do, we, 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 we follow the Quran properly and we're eligible so that Allah loves us and Allah forgives us and and He enters us into heaven. It, you see, brother, you are just you are just escaping the question what I'm saying. You see, that is the problem with Muslims. When you don't know how to answer the question, you're going to escape. I ask you a very simple question. God bless you with a long life. If you die right now without a shadow of doubt, whether you will be in heaven or in hell. You said you don't know Allah Yalam. Yeah? Only God, only Allah knows. But Jesus in this Bible promised us heaven, paradise. On the cross, there were two malefactors, those two thieves. One of the right, one of the left. Just before they die, hold on. One of, they die, one of them turned to Jesus. He said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. We don't know about that. He said, son, today, no tomorrow, no next week, no next month, no next year. He never went to church. He never prayed. He didn't give money to the poor. Okay, he didn't fast. But he turned to Jesus and said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said, today thou shalt be in paradise with me. Okay, we also... The Islam also states certain things that we do. If we do, Allah promises us Jannah. But obviously, we have to, everybody's a sinner, so we we can't have full conviction. Okay, I can do whatever I want. I can commit any sin I want, right? I don't care. I, I can do whatever I want. I already know I'm going to heaven. That guarantee isn't given. But we have to, we have to have conviction that if we do good deeds, Allah has guaranteed us Jannah. But that's what I, I, so no. Allah is promising. Allah no. technically Allah is giving okay. us a promise. Okay. But that's but that promise is conditional and we have to do our best to, to uh, meet the condition okay second but the thing is okay on your we're based on your logic on your logic right that was to mean anybody could do as much sin as they want and Jesus is still promising them no that's not what the bible teaches that's not what the bible teaches no no that's what the bible says you know what the bible says you know what the bible says in first corinthians chapter six in the first verse verse nine you know what it said listen carefully now you know that the unrighteous now you know it, verse 9. Now you know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. We know deceived, neither fornicators, no adul idolaters, no adulterers, no effeminate, no abuser of the same with mankind, we see hom homosexuality, no thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no revilers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. I, I, are you in, uh, do you believe in homosexuality as something that's permitted? In? It's sin, that's what it says. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's a sin as well. No, that's what it says. It says those who habitually. Even if you make God, oh, Naim, please, you ask me a question, you know, allow me to answer your question. Yeah, know, and then when I ask you a question, you never ask me. Oh, sorry, sorry. You said that because Jesus died on the cross, now I can go on sinning because Jesus died for my past, present, future sin. No problem. That's what you said. Okay. Because he died for my sin, I do what I want to do. But that's not what Jesus teach. That's not what Apostle Paul teaches to the Corinthians. He said, if I you make... I believe that as well. For true Christianity, Jesus didn't teach that. That's an exactly. That's but, people. Brother, he said, if you make such a thing your lifestyle, if you make it habitual, okay. and if you do not repent and don't do it again, 
you will be judged by God. That means you will not see heaven. I believe that. I actually be, I, but, so how can you say just because died on the cross, Jesus, we do what we want to do, no problem. No, that's not what the Bible teaches. No, 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 no. I know. I believe. No, no. I, I actually agree with your point. And I believe that's what Jesus proves. But I think today, and perhaps the group of Christians have like misaligned that viewpoint to justify their lifestyles know, and do whatever they want. Because I know the Christian. But that's not, but that's not the case. Brothers, the, uh, Naeem, these people, they're not the Christian. Okay. Do you know how many persons are a Christian in this country? I know what you mean, exactly. Please, do you know how many... Like, you see, a, a true Christian is a transformed Christian. For example, when you see me, you must see some goodness in me, which is only provided by Jesus Christ. For example, when I see a Christian sister, who is another sister who is not a Christian, I must be able to tell the difference that this sister is a Christian and that sister is not a Christian. Okay, That's how you and I will understand a transformed Christian is someone who is truly and sincerely is a Christian, which obeys the word of God. Okay. I actually have one last question for you, Mr. One last question. What do, you, do you believe in the day of judgment? Yes. How is the day of look like in Christianity? Let's see what the Bible says. Okay, what does it say? So, so we believe one day in the future, this whole earth will be destroyed. And mankind will be resurrected on the plane, and the day judgment will begin. I've heard opinions that some some Christians they believe the kingdom of heaven will be on earth, and the day of judgment like a like I I don't understand the I, 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 like a idea of the day of judgment. In Malachi chapter four, the last minor prophet in Old Testament, and I'll go to the New Testament as well. But this is the last verse or the last chapter of Malachi. Look what you say. For behold, the day cometh. That shall burn as an oven. What? As an oven. Wow, wow. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Wow, and wow. they that do, uh, and, and the days that come shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branches. And then he said, ah, and, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of righteousness, which is Jesus Christ, shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wing, and he shall grow up forth and as carved of the star. So here, the day of the judgment will be like an oven, okay. which will burn. They will live nice. Look what you said. If you do not repent, lest I come, the last verse, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So you see the flood. You know the story of the flood in the Quran? Uh, it's been. Um, time of um, Noah. So we have the same story in the Bible. But God promised there was a rainbow. This is the rainbow color. That's a covenant. That's the Abrahamic, I think, Noahic, uh, Noahic covenant. That this earth will never be destroyed with flood, with water flood anymore. But in the last day, he said, "Upon the wicked, I shall rain snare, fire, and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. And this shall be the portion of the cup." And Peter tell us that the day of judgment is going to be like an oven, will burn like an oven. Can you imagine, you put that steak or fish into that oven for 10, 15 minutes, you're going to have a barbecue fish. Because it's so hot. And the Bible describes that day of judgment is going to be so hot that by, by the grace of God and mercy of God, it will be survived. Okay. Uh, okay. So yes, we bring the day of judgment. And the Bible case in Hebrew said, and as it's appointed unto men, one is to die after this what? Judgment. No annihilation, no reincarnation, no escape. You see? After this, what? Judgment. That means, if I preach a false gospel, if I preach a prosperity gospel, replacement theology, I will be judged by God. If I do not preach what the law, sorry, what the, what, what the Bible command me to preach, then I will be judged by Jesus Christ. Because I believe in hell and heaven. I believe in repentance, in sin. I believe in salvation. And today, someone like you and me, we can understand each other because you believe in hell and heaven. You believe in sin and repentance and righteousness and wickedness. But you see, for someone who is not a believer, agnostic, atheist, or evolutionist, when you say, are you safe? What do you mean I'm safe? Of course I am safe. I know where I am, I know where I go. Of course we don't know. Am I 100% sure that I can go home? I can reach home? No, I'm not. I may die on the train. I may just walk down the road and I just collapse and die. You see, that's why the message of salvation is so important. Because in the day of judgment, I will be judged by God if I say to you, Naim, postpone or delay your salvation. Jesus Christ said, I am the resurrection and the life. 
You see, Ani Albaa is in Arabic. I am the resurrection and the life. He that breathes on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives and breathes in me shall never die. Do you believe that? The Quran goes. Even the time of Muhammad, before Muhammad, after Muhammad, no Christian worship Mary. They do the Catholic, they pray through Mary. They, they ask Mary to make intercession, but Mary is no part of the Trinity. Maybe I can't ask that question. No, the point is made. Jesus, uh, Jesus, 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 you have all these people that he, 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 he disassociates himself, himself from the people of judgment. Who claim, who, who believe that he was God? Okay, that's that's, that's, the, that's the point. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm afraid that I'm probably just gonna walk out further. That's fine. Okay, that's really fine. Like, okay, really that's fine. Really just before you go, one last question. For example, uh, with my due respect, Zakir Naik, when it comes to the Gospel of John about the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Ahmed means a comforter, and the comforter is the spirit of truth in the Holy Bible, in John, is a comforter. So my question to you, it is consistent, or it is makes sense for me to take out one verse of, let's say, Surat al-Ikhlas. One verse. One verse. Take out one verse, one, one verse, and say, I believe that, and I reject the entire chapter. It doesn't make sense. So how can Zakir Naib take out the spirit of truth and say it's about Muhammad and that is true we accept it and say the entire chapter or entire gospel is fake you see brother we have to be careful because as I told you in the old manuscripts there's no chapter there's no verse when you read the gospel of John it's one book it's one book so I cannot do that with your Quran therefore you cannot do that to my Bible now, you see brother you have to be careful you have to be careful First of all, the comforter is not Muhammad because Muhammad is dead. He's not in me, he's not in you. The comforter came in the name of Jesus from the Father, but Muhammad came in the name of Allah. So the comforter is not Muhammad because Muhammad, Jesus, Jesus said, I will send the comforter, the spirit of truth. The world cannot receive him because they have no sin, but the world have seen Muhammad. 2,000 years ago, people have seen Muhammad. Muhammad was exist. And today, Muhammad is not in me as a believer. If she is the believer, he is, Muhammad is not in her, the Holy Spirit is in me. Human, human being. He's a human being. No, no, we are talking no, no, we are talking about the comforter. Yes, the spirit of truth. With Zaki Nai clearly says the comforter but, but, is Muhammad. Okay, but, 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 the, but it's your it's clearly your belief that Jesus is inside you and Jesus is inside me. That's clear, that's no, 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 Jesus, no, through Holy Spirit. No, 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 please understand. No, no, through the Holy Spirit. Jesus right now is in heaven. He's on the right side of the Father. He's in heaven. Now you go to the ship.